Hey guys, I'm Kyle and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove taxes from Shopify full tutorial. So let's get started. So first things first, this would be a legal way on just basically modifying on how you charge tax. So yeah, let, let me show you on what I mean on the next step. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings on the bottom left of our screen right here. And from here, we're going to go click here on tax and duties. And then from here, you want to make sure that you want to go here into global settings and you want to include a tax in product price and shipping rate and charge sales tax on shipping and charge VAT on digital goods. In that way, all of the tax charges will now be included in the price of the product itself right here. So this is my store and this is my product. And as you can see, without these three options right here, this is the price. This is my price for this product right here. But if, if I include this right here, I include the charges, the tax charges, you wanna click on save right here and then you want to refresh this and then now you can see that the tax is now included right here now the customer would know that they are also paying for the tax with this price right here now all that's left is to basically compute all of the additional charges like for example the transaction fee like this one it says 1.5 or 0.85 percent if shopify payments is used you can also add this into the price right here so now once you have calculated all of the additional charges like taxes and so on like maybe the shipping uh, rate also then you can just go into your product right here and then go for the certain product and from here, you can just edit the price and add the tax from here. So let's say maybe you can go, you want to add a, just a two, two pesos. In my case, since I am using a Philippine peso currency right here, let's say I added uh, just two right here. And now I want to click here on save. And now as you can see, it is now 27 pesos right here and it says tax included. So now the customer will be the one paying for the two pesos of tax that we have added right here but of course uh, you need to calculate it first before you apply it right here so now i will be receiving the full 25 pesos which is my or original price for this uh, product right here without the tax so this is a way for you to remove the taxes from the earnings that you will get and yeah that is basically it on this video i hope this video helped you out thank you for watching